Are you using quality tools? No. Was it worth saving pennies when your life depends on it? No. Is it hard to put on pants in the morning? So sometimes. Well, these are signs of a curable disease called tactitis. And the symptoms of tactitis may include drowsiness, irritability, diarrhea, constipation, broken heart, stuffy nose, a sore taint, unable to climb stairs, but there is a cure. Tactical Penguin. Go to tacticalpenguin.com and cure your tactitis. This, okay? We're talking about calibers. We're talking about that. When you talk about 40 and you talk about 357 SIG and 45 and 44 mag and stuff, they, with ballistics and what the FBI has done and what all these all these people have done, right? There's nothing that is going to stop anything if they're tweaking. Yeah. We've kind of determined that. Headshots. I mean, headshot is the only thing that's going to really... Put the threat down. Yeah. Yeah. But when you're, you know, when you're fucking in a panic, you're stepping backwards, you're in a... You just got done... Well, I mean, if they're... Chasing the guy in the cop car. they're charging at you and you're trying to backpedal at a fast rate... You're doing a lot of this. Yeah. And and you know what? I'm going to add you know, on to this, too. That's... Uh, Clint uh, Clint Smith, the dude from... I love that guy. Thunder Ranch. Thunder Ranch. Yes. So he said something the other day that I thought was brilliant. He said, you should practice three different distances. These are three things that you should be so proficient at that you should just you should just know how to fucking shoot these three different dif- uh, distances. distances. The first one is across your car, the width of your car. Yeah. So what is it? Eight feet, ten feet, maybe. Yeah, like Whatever your car yards. is, that's what you should be proficient at. The other one, the length of your car, yeah, yeah, at the trunk. Yards, yeah. So the trunk to the, the hood, pumper. you should know how to shoot that distance, and then open your bedroom door and look down the hallway. Yeah. And you should shoot that distance, which is what five, ten, ten yards, yards ten how yards. Big your house is. Yeah. So those are three distances that you should be proficient at, and in my opinion, Rogan said this the other day. Shotgun is the best home defense thing. I disagree with that. Yes and no. It, it depends. Doubles, depends on the situation and where yeah, you live. Because yeah. we say that. This is why I say it's a bad idea. Okay? And this might be a bad mentality, but I'm going to say it. When people buy a shotgun, they're not going to get double lot buck. And they're not going to get slug. Because they're going to buy the 25 round white box of Winchester or red box of Federal Birdshot. That, and they're, and that's going to be... That just goes to show that they're not educated about it. Correct. But that's the thing is we keep preaching, oh, shotgun's the best home defense. But the thing is, is once you take it away from Birdshot... It's completely different. It's a completely different yeah. story. story. It's claim more mine. Well, well I mean, right. I've, had, I've, had people, I've had people tell me, like, oh, you got to get a shotgun, which is best for home defense. Okay. Uh, why do you think that? Because so, you don't even have to aim. You just point that general No, you got to aim. You got to aim. But uh, the problem that's is. That's not right. The problem yeah, exactly. is, is if we you know, point. Yeah, we point. know you that a aim. 9 mil Glock or whatever the cops are carrying right now, if you have a 9 mil and you're shooting somebody at 5 yards and they keep coming to you and you put. 14 or 13 rounds into their chest, their shoulders, their arms, and they're still coming at you. You think those little fucking six millimeter BBs and a birdshot's gonna do something to you? No! We know. We've seen the scars of kids getting shot with birdshot on farms all through middle America. All the time. And it used to be a fucking thing where kids would be like, oh, this one's stuck in me. Look right here. Look, look, honey, I still have a BB from when (laughs) I was 16. It's a it's a fucking old pastime to get shot with a shotgun yeah. on an Iowa farm. Is <laughs> that what they do with it? But the nine mil is such a, a multiversal round that I think that that's where we should like steer people into. A lot of people come into the shop and be like, "Oh, I'm trying to get something for my daughter. She can't rack it. Fucking practice, practice." You know, go get, you know, I mean, I, I'm not a fan of the easy, the Smith & Wesson no. easy pistols. They're super light and easy. Right. But I bet you the recoil is 
off the fucking the chain. Yeah. So, I mean, get a Glock 19, the, get a Glock 17, start there, work your way out from there. I always tell people to grab a Glock and start there. Oh, I hate Glock. They're fanboys. Stop with the fanboy. It's a Shit. tool. It's a tool. It's a tool. It's a fucking... It's like snap it, on and crash. Yes, it's just a tool. The problem with this tool is a lot of people found out that it's a great subcategory platform to start with. You know, you start here mm-hmm. at this at this Ford or Chevy or whatever it is. We now know that Glock made aftermarket parts available. Second, uh, the third third market is everywhere. The magazines are second to none because you can fucking yeah. buy a Second Amendment. You can buy mag uh, Magpul. You can buy Glock Factory. You can buy anything for fucking Glock. I feel like I'm a Glock shill, but it, you fucking did it. You made. Yeah. It's like the AR-15. If I was telling you to get something other than an AR-15 for a home defense, I'd be... I'm, a, I'm an idiot. Yeah. I mean, however, I have a CZ Scorpion for my wife that is a 9 mil compact little carbine for if anything happens that's more than getting the Glock. You know? Like, yeah. if there's any more, anything more than that, it's kind of like, yeah. you know, go get the Scorpion. It's a little bit longer. You have a red dot, two hands... You can get into the fucking car with it. You can get the fuck out of yeah. here. If I if I'm not there, you can get the fuck out of here with yeah. it. I'm not I'm not biased about it. I mean, I'll carry the nine. I mean, like I got the forty five, carry the thirty five. But that's just my personal. I just like it. It's right. Like forty five. It's, it's like I like. So, you like Nikes. I like Reeboks. Right. So this is. But this I like is, I like I like the size of the, the size of the round too. But I just wish. It's. I like forty five. I started. Cool. I started on a forty. I went to a forty five. See forty. I hated forty. I freaking hated forty. I still. I shot a forty it. in uh, a Smith and Wesson. A forty Smith and Wesson. Uh, what what is that? What's the shield based off of the M and P? M and P shield. I, I bought one of those first pistol. I bought one got out of the army. I hated it. Well, like a week or two ago, I shot a forty that was in this configuration, mm-hmm. and it was great. It was fantastic. The recoil wasn't like crazy or anything like that. And uh, it was awesome. I was like, wait, this is a 4D? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, that's not Man, bad. That shit's that's not bad. Stiff. Yeah, it's stiff. Gotta put some MA in it. Yeah, that's nice though. I like that. I like the bull barrel of it. They did a really good machining job. I like the VZ grips. The VZ grips are great. I mean, these, my, they, my, my girlfriend they feel. Oh, my girlfriend bought me that for my birthday. They feel so good. Like, 1911s feel a great. I just, I, I can't anymore because with what I've shot and stuff, I just can't. There's no way I can trust this. Yeah. It's, no. just an, it's just another gun I got, really. I like it. I love it. I've, I, I've shot a couple hundred rounds through it, and I haven't had not one issue with it. Yeah. Not one misfire, not one failure fire, not, not one stovepipe, nothing. It just it just goes, but I mean, it's, it's, it's now, a, I, I would I would trust my life with it. I trust my life with it. Um, if I had to pick it up, pick something out of the safe right now because it rolls was ending, I'd probably grab the Glock just because of the crown capacity. So let's. Uh, so I made this list, and, and a I lot of people gangster extendo mags for it too. Dude. So <laughs> so I made this list a few years back of six calibers everybody should have. Okay, and this kind of goes along with what you can find if the world is sh- shits the bed. What people are going to have next to you if if something shits the bed. Yeah. Having ammo that you could sell for eggs or milk or toilet paper or whatever. Barter or, system. Okay. Like having the, you know, the 30 out 6 is good round to have, but if you have a 338 Lapua, there's probably one guy in your city that has a 338 Lapua. <laughs> I and you're one. the only guy <laughs> that has a 338 Lapua, and when you run out of those 200 rounds that you bought on fucking gun deals on Reddit that one time, mm-hmm. you're done. There's no more unless you reload. Cool. Yeah. But it's just one of those things. If you need to stockpile ammunition, and this is not conspiratorial, this is if I want to have a shit ton of canned goods, why do you not think that it's okay to have a shit ton of 22 long rifle? Yeah. You know? So That's this the only is, thing I don't have. This is I my just don't list. Have an application for it. So, five five six two two three. I think is the number number one caliber to yeah. have. You should have a thousand rounds 
for every gun that you have at least. Yeah. That's how I that's how I say. It's a good start. And then my second one is is 762 by 39. Mm-hmm. I think 762 by 39 is an underrated round. It's the round that the SKS is built off of, the the um AK-47 is built off of, the VZ-58 is built off of. There are so many guns, uh, surplus guns, Galils. Like, there are so many guns. I think that if you don't have a 5.56, then you must have a 762 by 39 And it it is irresponsible of a private citizen to not have one or the other. See, and I went a different route when it came to the 762 by 39 I went 545. Yeah, but that's that. That's you gotta. You are are a different goat. Okay. You, have, you, have you followed. Food. You followed the rule. However, you went off of the list. You yeah. did not use the list whatsoever. Yeah. Well, I still have five, five, seven, five, six. six. I think he's just talking like standard, like stuff you would find if, in America. And like, that's yeah. and that's the thing to tell the viewers. Yeah. You didn't go five five six. You did not do seven six to break third on. Joe Exotic. You guy. went yeah. <laughs> Joe you, Exotic. Went, you went gay. Guess turning all the straight <laughs> guys gay. You well, fucking. Because no, I still have five five six. But you did five four five first though. No, I had five five six oh, before okay. that. I went five four. Uh, I went five five six. But, but if you choose a round like that, if you choose a round, you have to go all in. Yeah. And that's you gotta have the gun. Yeah, I have you two. gotta you yeah, more. So you have two guns. You have two. You have a primary and a backup, yep. just in case. Yeah. And then on top of it, you have magazines. Well, sh- how many mags? Over twenty. Okay, that's perfect. Shh, you're not supposed to be telling people that on fucking <laughs> on the damn YouTubes. And then you have more than a thousand rounds per gun, right? Yes. Okay. Now we'll just leave it at that. Okay. And that's yes. <laughs> And that's, yes. and that's how I suggest is if you're going to go all in in a caliber that you you are your own ammo resupply. Mm-hmm. And you have to think about that. Well, we're not in a community and I'm by myself and I got my wife and my kids and I'm somewhere. I can't think of where's Tommy at or where's Ed at. I have to think about what the fuck am I going to do. That signal. Okay. It's like if the fucking cell phone towers go down and I'm by myself in Salt Lake, mm-hmm. what do I have on me? See, How that, do I get back And home? that's another reason because like like the two that I have in 545 are AKs, AK-74s. Not a lot of people like the AK-74 platform or they're more familiar with the yeah. AR-15 they're, they're platform. They're starting to grow. Well, yeah, they're starting to, start to grow. But there's also the AR-15 platform. So I'm currently working on a 545 AR. And it's and, it's not a bad round. Yeah. It's a it's a pretty good Unbelievably round. Unbelievably flash shooting. The, it's a good round. The AR though has its ups and downs though. Like it's it's good for like fighting in the city, fighting in at, urban. like around here, urban environment. When you have a lot of struggles. But when you, when you gotta out, shoot fucking Habib off the fucking mountain, you're gonna want something. You're more. gonna need a, and where do we live? We got desert. Yeah. We got urban. And we, we got, got mountains. mountains. Yeah. So you should you should have one. For yeah. Urban, mm-hmm. So my next one. So my next one, and I do have a another. Which I don't have because it suck. I have, <laughs> I have another category too. So I have six rounds you should always have, and I have five guns you should always. The have. six rounds was at twenty two nine millimeter five five six two two three seven six two seven six two by three. So I have seven, five five six two two three fifty one and three oh eight and thirty out six and twelve gauge. Twelve gauge. So twelve gauge. 308 or 30 out six, one or the other. Okay. It's not like they're, they're synonymous. You yeah. can't shoot either one in the calibers, mm-hmm. in the chambers. But if you have a 308, you can pretty much find that in everybody's dresser or grandpa's safe. In the grocery store down the street used to carry it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Ammo, ammo kids, nine, kids nine mil. It. Nine mil is great for your little PCCs or your carry pistol yeah. or whatever. And um, 22 long rifle because it is fun. It is great training. It's inexpensive. It's inexpensive, and you can carry a thousand rounds on your back, and at ten twenty two, and you are, I wouldn't say invincible, but you can provide food. You can provide minimal security. I mean, if you had a nine mil Glock on your hip and a ten twenty two with a can and an optic on it, that's kind of, that's kind of pretty great. Like you're in a great situation. I mean, you're not best. But you're pretty great because you're quiet. You can feed yourself. You can scare the shit out of somebody without anybody uh, knowing but, what the fuck but, is going but on. But Clint, but Clint, like Clint Smith said, the best, best gun you have is the 
or the, the gun in the your gun hand. in your hand. Yeah. So if it's a fucking twenty two, it's a twenty two. As long as it throws as long as bullets it works. out yeah. the other end at something that's trying to hurt you, then yeah. Hey, you're you're the, you, you're ahead of the freaking neighbors next door. They don't have any job. guns. As long as it's doing its job. <laughs> And then the five guns is AR or AK, period. You got to have an AR or an AK platform. Why not both? Uh, it, that's not. <laughs> that's not the point. I know. I get the, the point, point is you should go out and build this collection. Start. And, start somewhere. Yeah. So an AR or AK, a Glock nineteen, and I. It's kind of hard because when you're working at a gun store and people come in and they're like, "I want this," and it's like. You kind of qualify them for the gun, yeah. you know, Smith and Wesson, or you know, uh, Springfield is a big one now. Everybody loves Springfield. But it, it's always too like, what are you going to use it for? Yeah, and, and, and I and you got to always qualify yourself. And people and, just like, oh, I'm going to use that to protect my life. You want to use that? Are you sure you want that? Well, here's a Glock. Here's a here's a FN. Here's a Springfield. Yeah, well, I, I love how I walked into a. A sporting goods store in California visiting family, and this dude was buying a hype. And I'm like, "What are you using that for?" Oh, it's for home defense. And I look at him like, "You sure?" He's just like, "It's gonna work." Okay. It's gonna work. <laughs> okay, man. I'm not trying to talk trash, but hype boys got a history. And I don't, I don't get the people either that are. Government's got people so wrapped up about the AR-15. They're like, "Oh, I'll never own an AR-15. That's why would I want an assault weapon? First of all, what's an assault weapon? And secondly, you have a 12 gauge. You have a 12 gauge, but you won't own a assault or an assault weapon or an AR-15. Well, I mean, assault- you don't <laughs> understand that that shotgun, that 12 gauge with the right round in it, or the right slug, or the right um, load, load will li- literally decapitate or incapitate just somebody. Just like Clint Smith. It was cut you in half. Physically a, remove a chunk of Jesus. shit and throw that shit over. But, but, but this AR-15, yeah. It, you might, you have to shoot a dude like five, ten times to get him to go down. Well, I mean, assault's also depending, a, depending on, on the guy. The, search, the situation well, assault, and the, the operator. Assault's also a term that's been thrown around so much it's lost so much of its meaning. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, you can take a rock Put it in, a, you know, uh, an a burlap sack is, and just beat the shit out of somebody yes. in the head with it. That's yeah. assault. Yeah, assault is an action. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's, it's a fucking verb, assault. But yeah. we're using a verb to describe something that's yeah. This not, this this is an assault a, pistol. If I shoot somebody with yeah. it, but then again, you can do the same thing with a hammer. I, I can hammer. beat the hell out of you with yeah. it, and I assaulted you with it. Yeah, a stick. You can beat someone with a stick. A baseball bat. It's yeah. a stick. It's ridiculous. It's a it's an assault stick now. And then I all on back to the five guns is I said a ten twenty two. I say having a ten twenty two is not a bad thing. Mm-hmm. And right now, even like I'm a suppressor nerd, and even if you get a stock ten twenty two, there's adapters that you can put to the front of them that adds threads to the to the gun, and you don't have to buy a barrel. Yeah. It's twenty bucks, fifteen bucks on eBay, and you just add it to the thing, apply a set screw, and you can you can screw whatever muzzle device you want to your ten twenty two. Probably gonna be the military fanboy here, but I don't have any application for 22 in my life. So I always buy stuff that either Large I have used yeah. in the military or somewhere in the world. But if the we were use it because it works. But like we're 22 of course, yeah, you could use it for like like a, like a no shit situation. And that's all you have. Yeah, it'll work. But I always try to buy stuff that is designed specifically. But if we're going to go have fun, if we're going to go yeah. camping, for, yeah. if we're going to go camping, we're going to go have fun. We have kids or whatever. Yeah, we could take a 12-pack of sodas and stack them up in pyramids mm-hmm. and shoot all day right. and have fun. And like the whole thing is, yeah, yes, it's about protection, and you're training, you're learning. Everybody's learning about, about yeah. safety and stuff like that. I think, personally, a 1022 is such a good tool. Because it can protect your property from varmints and pests and shit like that. You don't want to pull out the five five six to fucking plop a goddamn beaver that's chewing down a tree. I will. I'm well, I know you I will. But that beaver's pretty good. But I think that I think that now in 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 to the, today's world, like the way things are going, I I don't see any fucking application for a twenty two. 
Like, I, I, want, I, want, I want all, all my weapons that I have are for, they have a defense purpose. Mm -hmm. All of them. But you so gotta I don't have, have any fun. I have you gotta have a fun. Double barrel 12 gauge. That's not fun. That's, That's not, painful. It, it, no, it's not. It's That's actually, it's actually double barrel fun. pump. No, it's actually pretty smooth. Uh, it's like a It's knife. a double barrel it, pump? No, it's no. a double wow. it's break over. But it's 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 break like over. from the fifties, it's an heirloom. Uh, I've shot it a couple times. It's actually pretty smooth. It's a it's a bird gun. But just for fun, just to, just, to, just, to, just to shoot ski. I don't know. I'm not I'm not a shotgun guy. I I'm did, not either, but you I know, did it's put, still uh, it's still fun to, to blast you them. You did put around. twelve gauge on there, mm -hmm. so it's just you know. But at that so, point, at that point, it, it, you know, bird, it's a bird gun. You can do. You can and, and it's fun. It's fun to, to get, uh, get people that aren't in. They, they don't know anything about guns, and Different they want to go shooting. Life. And you hand them the twelve gauge, and you're like, "Oh, yeah, this is gonna be fun." But this list because, is is for multiple. It's for everybody. It's not right. for. This is kind of like a non-gun people, right. sort of speak, or new but new, new gun owners. Right. No, what I'm getting at with the shotgun is is like people they they're like oh I'll just buy a shotgun well why don't you buy the AR because the AR is gonna be a lot lighter on your shoulder and then you take somebody that's never shot a gun before and you hand they're like yeah they said to get a 12 gauge shotgun you hand a 12 gauge shotgun oh man and, It'll and, and watch shoulder. them break their shoulder break it's the like and then you ball. let them shoot the AR they're like uh, okay. why did oh, get, why, why did I, I want this, this shotgun yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's I mean, harder to shoot I always like it's to take people. Aim. Who's who never like, shot anything <laughs> and give them a 22 and let them plink with it. And they're like, oh my God, really? Like my mother-in-law, she, she's not guns at all. And she's got three daughters and I took all of them out. And, you know, father-in-law and everybody, we took our 22s and I shot them with out cans and we had hearing protection and safety glasses and stuff off. And I was like, okay, so here's now this other one that has a suppressor on it. It's got a red dot, but it's the same caliber. But this gun looks scary. And so they all took it and they all shot it. And it was all quiet and it was all neat, and nice, and everybody was having a great time. And then the next time we went out, we took our ARs mm -hmm. and our nine mils, and they were more willing to go to the next chapter of that book with twenty two. And as a military person, people come to you because they look at for wisdom. And if you have a twenty two and you're like, oh, okay, you don't know, you don't, you've never shot before, and you take them out there with a ten twenty two and they shoot some cans and stuff, and you right. teach them about safety, it's perfect, just a little you know, starter gun. It's a little starter gun. Well, and that's why I recommend even you should have a ten twenty two or a twenty two compact. And I think that there might be more utilitarian uses for mm -hmm. a twenty two pistol mm -hmm. versus a twenty two rifle. Yeah, because if you have a twenty two pistol, you can. Dispatch rats and snakes, snakes and yeah, shit with a twenty two pistol more. But I mean a Ruger ten twenty two, you can still go out fifty yards or even a hundred now with the, the barrels that they're doing yeah. now. But I even see people are putting those like binary triggers on and things. Dude, just they spits. are amazing. Yeah. That's that's a goal. That's, <laughs> that's a goal. But so the next gun, which is funny, because mm. you brought this over, I put Remington seven hundred. And I kind of have a love-hate relationship with Remington with all the political bullshit that they've got going on. But my problem with with uh, not having a long-distance gun is I always say that's the food caliber. You know, 308, 762, yeah. you know, like well, it's it's I mean, that. You could kill a deer. If you have an AK-47, you could do the same thing with it. Yeah. It might not as far, not so do as you far think, as away, but. So do you think if you have an AK if you have an AK, that's more utilitarian yes. than an AR. Yes. So if you had an AK with seven six two by thirty nine, that's better. Yes. Because you're I think it's better ballistic. I mean, it might not be a better weapon system. I mean, that's a different argument. It's but preference. But um, the round, the cartridge size. Think about it. it's a three. It's a it's a three hundred eight. It's a, Russian it's a freaking. That's really it's, what it it's, is. It's, it's a three hundred eight. So yeah. a three hundred eight will put down just about any large game in the United States, and it's fast too. Or North America, it's a fast round. So so it, so if, if if you got the AK, you you can knock out freaking any animal basically in in North America, and then you still have a firing rifle. So it has two applications. You can hunt with it. I've even seen videos of dudes in Russia hunting with with uh, AKs and knocking out elk. I mean, you can there. get a wild boar with it. I mean, yeah. that's pretty easy. So if if you can. If you can get an AK, then I mean, hey, you can. It's, it's a very versatile weapon. 
And then I put on it is uh, Remington 870, but I'm going to throw the Mossberg 590 out there too. So One or the other. I, I would say that though having a shotgun is – I'm not a shotgun guy. No, nah, me neither. I, I'm not into it. It's the last gun. Like I would probably grab my 1022 over a shotgun if I had to go out. Oh, no, something. I'm taking your kneecaps out. I'll pick up the 12 gauge. <laughs> <laughs> your pelvis is gone. I don't care. If you're trying to hurt me and the 12 gauge is right there and the 1022, I'm getting the 12 gauge. And you're, you're regretting it. No, I'm saying if I had to go out into the woods, if I had to go out into the wilderness, shotgun, I took the shotgun. Really? Yeah, because I would think that it, it take out a bear. Twenty two. Uh, yes, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. I mean, there's also. Different. I mean, you might take out a bear. With there, you might also, get lucky, but you're but... gonna have to fucking have a taller tree and a fucking <laughs> you're gonna hue glass your ass. Yeah, yeah. Like fucking the revenant. Yeah, you, you, even a, a shotgun is a, is a nice well, a there's, there's shotgun also, is a good utilitary it is there's whatever the word is because it's bird but, it's I mean with a slug you can do deer and elk and shit with it, a slug you can bear you can do it with it bird shot you can get any fucking bird with it mice squirrels deer you also have the combination uh, firearms the one that's got a shotgun it's a, see I'm not a fan of that those are weird I'm those not are a fan of that I know they're weird I know they're weird and they're they're it's it's got it's a, a shotgun. Four, it's, a four, it's gonna it's be got good. Two rifle cartridges, and then it's got a twenty two. It's a oh, it's revolver, right? No, no, no. Are you talking about the the slug inserts? The no, no. Inserts? It's actual. They'll have three barrels or four barrels in some cases. Oh, the, oh. Or it's a rifle gun. Yeah. yeah, it's a combination. It's a single shot. Yeah. Well, there's the M six scouts. Open. There's yeah. the M six scout that the Air Force had way yeah, back way in back the eighties. And the M6 was a 22 win mag on top, and then a four no a 410 on top, and a 22 win uh, magnum on the bottom. And then you open the stock; it was a f- actually sheet metal except for the barrels. Yeah. And you open the stock, and it had all the ammo lined up inside of it. So mm-hmm. you can have the 410s here. But there's nowadays nice. there's some that have it's the bottom barrel is a shotgun 12 gauge, and then it'll have 223 or whatever other calibers you mm-hmm. want, and then a 22 up top. See, I'm not and a fan of that just for the fact that one of them's going to be accurate and the other ones aren't. Yeah. And if I'm if I only have 25 rounds of whatever, even if it's just a handful of shit, yeah. I, I would rather take 25 rounds of one caliber that I'm going to be accurate with mm-hmm. than 25 rounds that only seven of them I'm going to be accurate with, and all the rest are just going to be like luck. Yeah. You know, I would rather take a fucking single shot two two three, you know, handy rifle with a box of shells than take something that have three box of shells and you know i'd rather be well, more that, accurate that's one of those things like one thing i get asked the most usually about cerakote is is cerakote worth it yes absolutely why it's beneficial in the way it provides and enhances physical components such as improving the wear and tear over time it provides it also provides abrasion corrosion and chemical resistance on your gear it will improve the longevity of your equipment so go ahead and check out tacticalpenguin.com utah's premier Cerakote, certified Cerakote applicator. And if you're local, come by the shop. We're located at 860 West Riverdale Road, Suite D7, Riverdale, Utah.